Hey guys, uh, I felt very strongly compelled to come on and just talk about a couple of themes or really one main theme that's been niggling at me for a little while and I wasn't quite sure how best to approach it or even what I, I really want to say. Um, I've got seashells coming out of my head, <laughs> seashell heart, um, which is amazing. Uh, in terms of a message of revealing something. Um, I suppose this is a message for all the light workers and the healers who are feeling a bit disillusioned with the spiritual industry at the moment. I know I'm not alone in this and it's been coming more and more to the surface of my mind and then last night I had a little bit of a tantrum at home about just how difficult it is to, uh, when you really are a healer, when you really are doing the work, boots on the ground, actually helping people to get your work out into the world, when there seems to be a trend now uh, for spiritual celebrities and for people to run out and get a certificate, get very clever with all this internet and social media marketing, and suddenly be able to be the next biggest guru and uh, you know not that there you know I have to say getting a certificate and doing the work is how I started so I'm not trying to diss anyone doing that however this trend for uh, people kind of touting themselves with very clever marketing and I guess my point here is a little bit losing the point of why we do this work to begin with you know we're not here doing this work to be the next biggest influencer we're here doing this work to help people and my whole I feel very emotional about the whole thing because in my work and in my business which is my livelihood, which is my business, and I do teach a lot about valuing yourself, valuing your work, making sure that you take care of your needs first. That is all part of it. But even, you know, trying to find a balance in all of this can be tricky. Um, I guess that I just want to acknowledge that there are a lot of people like me who are really really delving deep into the work with people really genuinely helping people and you know it's difficult if I'm honest to find the time to be all over YouTube all over Instagram all over mag trying to pitch magazine articles and apply to be a speaker at X Y and Z festival when you're spending day in and day out in one-on-one -on -one sessions with people literally trying to help people and trying to find a balance in all of that so something I wanted to create to help with some of this and I'm going to be coming on here and talking a little bit about some of these themes as and when they come up and uh, I'm hoping to put some more meditations and things up here as well but I think it's just nice to talk about some of these themes as they come up and try to offer a little bit of support so uh, that's one of the reasons why I've started a new Lightworker Healing Circle, which is the first Friday of every month, and it's a it's it's basically to help support people. I know that um, often at the moment, especially with all the pandemic and everything, people can't afford to necessarily book one on one sessions. So these are an um, uh, an opportunity to get some healing and have some support. Um, at a much lower cost than booking a one-on-one -on -one session. So I just want to let you know that I've, this is why I've started it really because I went into this work to help people. I didn't go into this work to be famous or be the next biggest celebrity, although I can be a bit of a show pony at times. I know I'm a bit like that, but that is not the be-all and end-all. And my passion is spirituality, but it is also how to bring spiritual principles into our daily waking life and live it and embody it. It's not about knowing the latest buzzword and trademarking the best title that you can get your hands on um, to market yourself and put yourself at the top of the SEO. That's, um, that's all part of it. That's all wonderful. I'm glad that there are people out there who have mastered that. <laughs> um, I would... Um, 
just like to say that it, to me it, it's uh it's about actually mastering ourselves before we can master any of that so anyway I feel like I'm prattling on um but I just wanted to acknowledge that um if you're feeling disillusioned with the spiritual industry uh you're not alone and just to know that I I am well aware and I do know of so many amazing incredible healers who are you know when they're not on camera when they're not on Instagram when they're not you know trying to actually make money and do their work from a business sense are actually doing the work for themselves each other for the planet um you know I eat sleep and breathe this work and it's it's not work to me that I eat sleep and breathe it because it is me and um I know that my a lot of people watching my youtube are on that same path so I I guess this is just a message to say honor yourselves don't lose um don't lose sight of of your goals don't lose sight of your passion don't lose heart in all of this because there's so much coming to light at the moment and if you're someone who is um helping to heal people and you're doing this work and you feel like you're not getting anywhere and you're you're feeling full of self-doubt keep going keep going and um you're you're so loved you're so supported and the bubble is going to pop at some point the bubble will pop and you know i've fallen foul of it i've you know got caught up in the oh 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 you know it's not that wonderful the glamour of it all um but yeah it's about remembering why we why we truly are drawn to this work the empaths and the light workers and the healers so the 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 support will can be found in many places i'm hoping to offer more support here via my youtube channel but i also um want to just let you know that the first friday of every month i'm doing a, a 33 pound healing circle for empaths light workers and healers and we will be covering a lot of these themes but we'll also be doing some lovely deep healing work to help move through it okay and um you I call it a circle it is slightly more of a webinar you can have your camera on or off as you prefer and um, I'm hoping to run some of these in person uh, as we go forward but I just want to send you all so much love and thank you for joining me here on my Alexandra Wenman show YouTube and um, I hope you're having a beautiful day